Hello, I'm Kristen from Kristen Kane Style. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I am going to continue on with editing my own closet. I have already done tops. If you've missed that video, I will put a card up there so that you can uh, link right to that. I'm going to go into pants today. You will notice that I do not have that many pairs of pants. I am much more a pant repeater and then change the top. I think that's because I like the simplicity of blue denim or really classic traditional pants. I don't wear um, pants that have much color or pattern. I keep the bottom pretty simple, which makes it easier to just add a top of any type than if I had a lot of bottoms that were busy or patterned or colorful. It would make outfit making a little more difficult and I tend to want the simplest, most streamlined way to coordinate my clothing. And so, uh, I'm gonna get into what is staying and what is going. I do have some summer pants, some kind of spring and summer pants that are tucked away that will not come out for another month or two because it will still stay pretty cold at my house and possibly even snow into May. So I'm not ready for the things that look and feel like summer, but I do have some patterned flowy summery pants that will come out and then I'll make a decision on those when it's time to flip the closet. And uh, the other thing that I wanna mention is, I, this is the work that I do one-on-one -on -one with clients in style therapy. So style therapy is my one-on-one -on -one style coaching um, wardrobe transformational experience. It is uh, a program that takes you from stuck and overwhelmed with your wardrobe to a place where you have simplified and created a wardrobe that actually supports the life you live and that is fun to wear and you look forward to putting outfits together and getting dressed. So if you'd like more info on that, I will drop the link down below. If you have any questions, just let me know. So pants, let's chat about pants. This is gonna be pretty simple because I wear the same pairs of pants almost all year long with the exception of really hot summer. And so there probably isn't much that I'm going to get rid of, but I'm gonna go through it anyway because I know there are a couple that are going to move out. So these are a pair of pants I got back in the fall. They are super soft, gray, kind of a um, barrel leg, I guess, that kind of get tight at the ankle. They're really comfortable. They're a good rise. They're higher, but they're still comfortable. They're not too tight. And so um, these are staying. On the note of too tight, I want to come completely clean and say that there were probably at least six, maybe eight pairs of pants that I had to get rid of when uh, I did this work last year, kind of in the fall and in the spring, both I got rid of pairs of pants because they simply do not fit anymore. They are too tight, they, are, they were not comfortable. Uh, my body has changed. I went through menopause and a pandemic at the same time and those pants that I let go of, I didn't wanna do the work to ever fit into again, even if that were possible, which it may not have even been possible. And so I had some pants that I really liked and I knew I wouldn't wear them anymore because they weren't comfortable. Um, the style had changed enough you know, my body had changed enough, whatever the case was. So this is a pared down version of my pants because I have already edited out the things that really don't fit. So everything that's left here actually fits my today body, which um, is really all that should be on our closets anyway. So these are staying. So I'm going to tuck these over here in this little basket. And I have a green version that is the exact same shape. They are just a slightly heavier um, canvasy. They're a little more canvasy feeling. And these will stay too because they're good for spring. And the gray ones I could probably wear a little longer into May and even June. These are gonna get a little heavy, I think, once the weather does change, but I'm gonna keep them out for now because I like them with navy and cream and all, all the colors that I wear. These are um, a pair of uh, Wild Fable old Target jeans. They have a um, raw hem, just kind of a nice wider straight leg. They're really comfortable. These definitely stay. These are my somewhat recently thrifted Levi's and they're really soft and comfortable. They're really lightweight. They are probably due to go in the wash because they're a little stretched out, but they are definitely going to stay. Let me put those down there. These are my very favorite jeans ever. Um, they are Citizen Emerson. They're my very, very favorite shape. They were my first kind of true favorite jeans that I bought several times over the years because I would wear them completely out. So these are Citizen Emerson, Slim Boyfriend. I still love them and the rise is a little low for me now. They are not low rise. They are just not as medium or high as most of the other jeans that I'm enjoying or other pants that I'm enjoying now. And so I do still wear them. I just don't wear them as often as I used to. They're gonna stay because they're a great weight and I like the color. I also have these in a darker denim that are sort of the jeans that I put on if I just need to run out of the house and um, grab a pair of jeans and go without actually getting, you know, a 
full outfit dressed on. Um, so those just hang on a hook in my closet. Those will stay also. They're exactly the same jeans, only they're just a dark blue. These are the same jeans again, Citizen Emerson, and these are black, as you can tell. These were thrifted. They're actually really flattering, and I really they're, they're differently flattering than the lighter colored blue jeans. I, I do like them. I just have not worn them at all since I got the gray, uh, kind of barrel-shaped, wider, looser, higher rise. Uh, I'm not ready to give these up because I do love them. And also, to be honest, they're a little more snug than the other pairs of Emerson. So I'm going to hang on to them and put them in the fall box. And then in the fall, I will try them on and see what I think. Because I do love them with a cream sweater or even with navy blue. I like them with gray. You know, they're, they are favorites. I just don't know if my preference to, you know, for a wider leg is going to be enough to Want, have me want to get rid of these in the fall? We will see. So I'm going to put those in the keep and decide for a later pile. And then the last pair of jeans that are in this bin, you will notice the tag because I just haven't gotten to them yet. These I bought also as I was departing anthropology uh, because who can beat that discount? No one. So they are fantastic. I just literally have not worn them yet. So they have a really great wide leg and some kind of fun pockets. They're a good high rise. I tried them on in a video way back, I think, when I did a fall haul. And, um, which is kind of funny because I really don't haul all that much, but I do seem to buy some thrifting things and haul. These, this was not obviously thrifted. This was purchased new at Anthro. I love these. I'm keeping them. I just, and they're good enough. They're light enough weight that I can certainly wear them into the spring. And so, um, I'm going to keep these out and I'm going to challenge myself to wear them so that I can get that tag off of them and enjoy them. And then these are Old Navy, uh, these are a straighter leg pull-on, um, kind of a straighter leg black watch plaid. I really like these pants. I just didn't have any purpose for them this year. As I said earlier, I tend to go, if I'm going to do any pattern, I tend to do the pattern on the top and have the pants be pretty solid and pretty, you know, classic. I This is classic, certainly, and I do like it with a cream sweater or a black sweater or a navy sweater. Um, and I wore them more when I worked at Anthropology. I just have not Put them on in a while so i'm going to put them away for fall because i'm not going to wear them now and i will revisit it when uh, it's time to take those things out of the box these i actually love i also my daughter has these also and every time she puts hers on i think why don't i wear those more and i think the reason is just that i am a jeans girl and i tend to go jeans or some sort of a more rugged trouser like the ones i've been showing you instead of this kind of pant i did wear these to anthropology in december when i went back to work for a couple of days uh i and I'll keep them. I just will not wear them anymore. They're they're almost flannelly feeling. They're knit and they're, they wear like sweatpants. I just won't wear them anymore this year, but they're classic enough and they're in good enough shape and they fit. So I'm going to keep them and revisit them when it's time uh, for the fall. These are another pair that I had high hopes for and um, just, I really just don't wear them. So these now that we're doing all the trousers and that seems to be a trend, these are really right on trend as far as what's being worn. They're a little bit cropped. They have, you know, this great cuff at the bottom. They're a nice stiff fabric without being uncomfortable. They're from H&M. They have to be four or five years old. I have worn them. I just have not ever worn them as much as I wanted to. And I'm not sure they're, they again have a little bit of a brushed cotton feel. They're pretty sturdy. So I don't think I'm going to wear them again this spring. I would like a new pair of this kind of olivey uh, military green pant for spring. I like that other green, but it's a little light. I would like a darker color for, you know, one of the darker colors for spring. I had a couple pair and they no longer fit. So I got rid of those, which is fine. I just need to find a pair that is more comfortable and kind of wearable than these feel. Um, and they're a lighter weight for the into the spring and summer. You can tell I feel a little bit of guilt about these because I really like them and I just kind of forget about them and don't wear them because I like jeans better. And then these, same thing, I forget about these. And I think one of the reasons I forget about the hanging pants is because my pants sit in a basket on a shelf, folded my jeans and other trousers that are the ones I've shown. And so I grab those easier. I forget to look on the hangers for pants because I don't have many pants that hang on hangers. So these are um, A New Day from Target. Also, Greta has this pair, and when she wears them, I think, why don't I wear those black pants? 
One of the reasons I don't wear these black pants often is because they only have this little coin pocket. They do not have actual pockets in the front. And so when I'm out running errands and even working and doing stuff, I like to be able to have my keys or a tissue or, you know, I usually have something in my front pocket. And so um, these, I just don't get as much wear out of because of the pocket thing, but they're a great weight for spring. I actually bought them in the spring of 2020 and then literally went nowhere. And so it, they sat for a while. I have worn them many times. I just don't wear them as often. I'm going to fold them and put them in my little basket because I think if I see them, I might grab them more and they're super comfortable and they wash and wear well. So I'm going to give them a try. And maybe the answer for me is to no longer hang my pants because I tend to just forget about them when I hang them. So, um, all right, that is it um, for pants. That's all I've got until I pull out the spring. And I am going to talk about shoes. This is, I believe, the third time that I have shot this video. I keep chopping off my head. So the first time, it was a really great video about my shoulders, from my shoulders down, and uh, showed all the shoes, and it was terrific. I am now just going to run through this so that you get the idea, and um, we can move on, because I'm getting a little overwhelmed by this closet edit, which is what I hear from clients all the time, which is why I try to step in to help. So today I'm gonna to talk about shoes. I'm not a person who has a ton of shoes. I like to keep the shoes simple because it makes my life easier when I'm getting dressed. I have clients who are shoe people who have lots of different shoes, in which case we often keep the wardrobe a little more simple so that the shoes can be the standout piece you know, in the wardrobe, in the look. I am the other way. I really want my shoes to be simple. I also only wear outrageously comfortable shoes. So I it, it limits me a little bit into what I am willing to buy because I don't want any kind of a break-in period. So today I'm gonna to share, um, really all of these are staying, but I wanna share specifically some shoes that I purchased during the pandemic that I have not worn yet. And so I often have clients who have tags on their clothing, you know, have clothing with tags that they haven't worn yet and they have guilt about that or they have shoes that they don't wear very often and have guilt about that. I'm coming clean. This is a, a shoe uh, true confession here. So first I'm gonna chat about the ones that I do wear and love. This is a pair of Mismu Oxfords. I tend to gravitate towards menswear shoes, which is part of what happened with the purchase of these shoes during the pandemic. They are not menswear inspired and are a little more ladylike, which is what I was going for. Although maybe it's not what I was going for because I haven't had them on my feet yet, but I'm, I'm still holding out. So these I love, I wear, they're comfortable. These are the Fry version. I actually would have purchased these in black. These are the Fry Aaron. However, when I was ready to have these in black, they were out of stock. They no longer make them. So I couldn't find a pair in black. So I found the other ones and enjoy those. You know, they're just as, just as comfy. This is a pair of Sam Edelman, sort of a desert boot. They're great for this transitional period between full on winter and full on summer spring because they're a lighter color. I can wear them with a little rolled up jean and a blouse and feel like it's kind of you know the right transition vibe. These I have shown on here before. I did, I think a whole review on them. They are the Sam Edelman Lorraine loafer. They are like bedroom slippers. This is the most comfortable pair of shoes I have ever owned. I can wear them all day with a client. I wear no sock with them, which is really rare for me because I tend to like a little bit of a cushion or a liner, nothing with these. They are, they're, they're more comfortable than my slippers, I think very honestly. So the Sam Edelman Lorraine loafer, great for kind of winter into spring. Then underneath this large pile here, are a pair of backup white Converse. I love white Converse and I usually like to have a pair on deck because they do tend to get dirty and I wear them pretty hard. For a long time, I didn't wear white sneakers even though I love white sneakers because I wear a size 10 foot. No, have a size 10 foot, wear a size 10 shoe and white sneakers just felt really enormous. And then I decided that I really liked the way they looked and so I was going to wear them anyway. So my dirty white Converse and a pair of hand-me-down Bejas from Greta are downstairs in our front hall closet and I wear those on repeat. I also have a pair of kind of beat up Uggs and a pair of really hideous um, like turquoise blue Crocs that I purchased secondhand that are sort of the garage shoes. This time of year, our garage is really mucky because of the dirt that comes in on the car and it's attached to our house. And so if I run out to the garage to get something, I don't want to track the dirt in and out. So I do slip on the really bright wild Uggs. Okay, now onto the shoes that I have not worn yet and I do love and I'm going to keep them and they're a little more ladylike and I'm just going to challenge myself to wear them. These are a pair of Franco Sardo patent leather, uh, just cute little flats. They're ridiculously comfortable. 
Got them at Nordstrom Rack during the pandemic. I have not had them on my foot yet. I have some client appointments coming up in person over the next couple of weeks, and I'm going to challenge myself to put these on with a cute little outfit, and I will post some pictures over on Instagram when I do that. These, same thing, purchased them at Nordstrom Rack during the pandemic. They have kind of a clergerie feel, and they are quilted on the bottom, super comfortable, and just kind of a chic little, I don't know, European vibe to them. Cute with jeans, cute with little trousers. I just haven't gotten them out of the box yet because I haven't really gone anywhere where what I already have wasn't sufficing, but I really wanna move into a little more of a pump with jeans casually, and so I'm going to wear these. And same with these. Uh, these are sort of a nude suede, really comfortable, Nordstrom Rack. Uh, I think all three of these pairs of shoes may have been on the same trip, which is super rare for me because I don't actually buy a lot of shoes. I just knew that they were all such classic shapes. They were great um, prices. They fit me and they were comfortable. And so I wanted to kind of shift into something that was a little more feminine. And so I grabbed all three of them and I still believe I'm going to wear them. I just need to get them out of the closet. And then this last pair is the same thing. Pair of boots, Nordstrom Rack, different shopping trip. I love that they had this little bit of gold detail that made them a little bit more feminine and the shoe, the toe is a little bit pointy, but they have a really rugged lug sole, so they're really comfortable and they're not slippery. And I'm gonna challenge myself to wear these sometime in the next couple of weeks while it's still colder here and definitely feels more like transition because I think they're a really pretty boot. I just haven't put them on my foot yet. So all of that to say, I just wanted to kind of give you the true shoe confession here that I have purchased, I have more shoes in the box that I've never worn than I actually have out of the box that I wear on a regular basis. And so whoever this new girl is, this future version of me who wears a more feminine shoe with her jeans and her sweaters and her blouses, I'm ready to get to know her. So I'm going to take those shoes out of the box and get them on my feet with an outfit and I will document it and put them up over on YouTube. I'm at Kristen Kane style over there and uh, share and let you know how it goes. Do you have shoes in the box um, or clothes with tags? It's a normal thing. You just need to kind of assess, you know, what's happening. I've assessed these and I know I wanna wear them. So now I just need to get them on my feet. I do a style Q&A over on Instagram every Tuesday. I go live at noon mountain time. So if you have a question you wanna ask, uh, I drop a box over there on Monday. It's up for 24 hours and you can type in your question and then I'll get to it on Tuesday. And if you'd like to look into working with me one-on-one, -on -one, style therapy is the way we do that. And I'll drop the link down below so you can check it out. Thank you so much for being here. If you like this video or my other content, it would be awesome if you would share it and comment and like and subscribe because that helps my channel be more visible to other women who might find this information useful. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'll see you next Friday. Have a great week.